Hey guys, it's Andrew Murray here. I'm going to explain to you about Snagit 2019, what the new features are. I'm going to show you my best ways to use it. And I'm going to show you how I use it to actually get outsourcing and a lot of crazy stuff done without me spending a lot of time. So I think you're going to love it. Let's fire it up. Um, I've been a Snagit user for about seven years and it's really the best all around tool for, you know, kind of doing a whole bunch of either screenshots or screen recordings. And I'm going to show you how I use that to get that out to my team and things like that. So to start Snagit, um, it's going to load in your taskbar here. You can have it uh, load and you can do the, here are some options here. You could uh, just have the all in one or you could just do image or video if you want. And um, what you can do is you can, uh, you know, have some presets and, and, and all that sort of thing, but I'm just going to show you how it works. So you press the button and then you're going to, um, highlight, you know, the screen. Okay. Uh, so you can do full screen or a certain area, or you can just drag, um, you know, a certain area and it will kind of give you that, that, um, those options. So you can actually just capture an image. Uh, like that um, you can um, do video and we can do the video the other way but if you choose the video you have some more options so you could do region or just full screen right so if you just do video capture um, then you are going full screen right away keep in mind there is a little bit of a delay here um, and that's because I'm actually using a different recording program to record it and they're kind of pulling in some of the same resources and and kind of confusing uh, the computer a little bit okay so that will pop up click the button it's gonna have a time down three two one and then boom you start recording and uh, and and doing your thing okay and so as you can see you can kind of scroll and do whatever you want uh, change windows and then uh, stop recording. After you do a recording, what it does is it puts it in this in this tray, okay? And that's pretty cool because you can see what you've uh, recorded recently and uh, so on and so forth. And if it is a video, you can actually turn it into a GIF. Um, so this actually makes an animated GIF, right? So if you wanna show people how to move their mouse over to you know the opt-in, um, opt-in box or whatever you want to do, um, then you can uh, create that, okay? And so it's creating a GIF for me right now, um, which is something that, you know, looks really good actually on a sales page sometimes uh, if you're demonstrating proof or you're demonstrating like a certain thing. And so here you can see uh, the GIF and I mean, it's, 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 it's going to be kind of boring, but um, cause not much going on on that, on that screen, but that's what it allows you to, uh, to do. Okay. And of course with the GIF, you can actually like, you know, change some of these, um, uh, settings, right. Um, so high motion video, uh, which is where things go like a little bit faster and so on and so forth. Okay. So this is kind of what you'd use for like a demonstration, okay? Also, um, a lot of people don't know this, you know, they, they want to record their uh, webcam with the video, okay? One of the reasons you want to do that is because it makes whatever you're saying that much more engaging because people are hardwired to, wired to be interested in people and people's faces. So what you can do is you can click that and you can actually record the webcam, okay? And if you have different webcams here, you can, um, you know, add those in. Really, really nice feature. So a lot of people don't know how to do that. That's, that's uh, off by default. And you can record the microphone if you want, um, you know, uh, do all that stuff, capture. I also wanna show you some of the options in, in image, right? So uh, you have the, the, the uh, region, the panoramic, grab text, okay? So let's do the grab text for uh, example. So let's go to, um, uh, see some text on this page. All right. 
And so we're going to uh, go back here, capture, and we're going to grab text. Okay, so we're going to see what we can grab out of this text. Okay. All right, so it's taking some time to, you know, just kind of uh, grab the text, let's say, and uh, and and kind of put that into, um, you know, word format. Okay, so now what we've done here is you can see you can copy and place this, and um, you know, it's a great option for kind of taking images and you know taking the text out of them you can make it plain text uh, which will just kind of you know remove the formatting and then uh, copy that so that is pretty awesome okay um, another way that you can capture is uh, the full screen the web page you can capture mission control menu web you know just do the webcam um, but I like a panoramic okay and you can automatically add like borders and, and stuff in but you know I like to I like to keep things simple so this is really good for capturing a part of a web page now you've all, we've always been uh, you know maybe seen those web pages that don't scroll properly or you know because they got coding in it or, or whatever the case may be maybe it's a really long sales letter and it doesn't kind of go down all the way um, you know like Facebook what you can do is you can start here and then manually scroll to wherever you want to, to go to. In this case, this is the bottom of the page. And then click stop. And what this is going to do, and this is really cool because, um, you know, this is Snagit 2019, is you can, you know, get those unscrollable web pages, right? Um, which, you know, with a lot of the, you know, free, cert there's certainly tons of free add-ons that will do a screen capture, um, you know, on, on Google Chrome. But... You're going to run into problems when you want something like that okay i want to tell you one of the the best features about this um so all all, all these screenshots are going to be backed up here in your um under documents and then snag it so it's going to make this folder snag it and it's going to save all your auto auto saved captures here right so if you save something It'll put it here, but even if you don't save it, it'll save these snag pro J files. So, you know, if you take a screenshot and your computer crashes, it's going to be there. Um, and what you can do is you can actually delete these out of the tray. Okay, this will just close it from the tray, but it won't actually delete it. Uh, if you uh, right click on it, then you can um, move it to the trash. Okay, and, uh, and just get rid of it entirely. All right, so one of the features in 2019, Snagit 2019, is simplify, okay? So what this allows you to do is to uh, simplify and you can actually just do parts of it or auto-simplify. When you auto-simplify, it's gonna scan this image that you're, you're working on in the canvas here. And it's gonna find the text and it's gonna kind of block it out so you can really focus on what it is that you're trying to communicate. So you see right here, it's blocked out all of this stuff, right? So if you just want to focus on this line. All right, so here we are back on the uh, simplify. And what you can do is you can just, you know, take out the, uh, the line that you want and really highlight that. So you see how that kind of pops? Um, if you just wanted to show people that. Um, the other thing that you can do, of course, is there's tons of stuff that you can do. You can blur. Um, so let's say this was you know person that you didn't didn't want to to know who it was. You can blur that, um, and then uh, change the intensity of the blur if you want. Um, and so they got all this stuff. Uh, you can crop the whole thing. Um, you know, take parts out of the 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 screenshot. Maybe you don't need that that part over there. You just want to focus here bring this up and then crop it um, you can uh, do like a magic wand cut out stuff 
one of the really nice things for documenting processes and, and systems is the step, right? So you could say uh, step and then you could go one, you know, you click here and then two, you click on this image and then three, um, you know, you can, you can uh, do something else. And so what you have is that step and you can, uh, you can see where the three is here and you can put it right here and then three, you know, click, click submit or whatever the case is. You can um, add things to favorites. You can have different styles. Um, you have a library. You can do pens. You can kind of do circles. You can do all of this stuff. Um, highlight. You can highlight this part. Excuse me. And um, you know, have it yellow if you want. Yellow highlighter. Um, make it a little bit transparent. All kinds of cool things that you can do uh, with this. You can also try searching for stamps, right? So there's tons of stamps. Um, these are all like things that you can come in that easily like just pow, make your, and these are PNG, so they're, they're, they're scalable and they will still stay in um, focus. <clears throat> and so you can see all these different things, right? So if I search for, you know, let's say search for uh, moon, okay? Um, search for check, okay? So you, get, you have a checklist. So these are nice PNG graphics that, that scale nice. Um, you know, you could put things like this on your uh, timeline uh, and you can resize it again. Once it's resized, because I cropped it, um, so it, it still kind of keeps these content, but this is transparent. So that's a transparent background. The other thing that you can do in Snagit 19 that you couldn't do before is you can drag other pieces onto this. So let's say I had this other screenshot that I wanted to show. I can drag it onto the same canvas and then start, you know, um, uh, working on that, right? And all these other things, you know, will work and uh, and do that. And you can uh, erase things. I mean, you can basically do whatever that uh, that you want. Uh, to do favorites another nice one is call to action so you know if you want to focus on this video here and you can kind of show people how to do that you can add text um, you can add text here so I'm gonna add text uh, let's see Okay, for some reason it's not adding text. That could be because of the video. I haven't had a problem with that before. Uh, but you can add call outs, right? So you can kind of, um, let me see here. You can adjust these points so, so you can make it look like a, a bubble where someone's speaking and put it right you know, on their, uh, on their mouth. Um, so you can drag in your text here and say um, check this out right you can customize all the uh, all the fonts um, whatever you want to do um, and basically save these as as custom right um, so uh, new font right uh, so look, you know you can do all that stuff save it as favorites and you know at the end of the day um, Snagit 2019 is extremely reliable for um, recording video, recording screenshots, but I'm going to show you my favorite part of it. Once you're done, whether you've done a video or something like that, um, you can actually share it to certain locations just with one click. Okay. And uh, I just upgraded uh, from 2018, so I don't have my, my sharing outputs here, but what I normally do is I, I will have a screencast um, and basically when you share it to screencast, it can just do the uh, short URL or full URL right there um, to that folder. Um, you can add in uh, FTP. So if you want it to go right to an FTP server, you would put you know, your, your path and your directory and, and all that stuff. Uh, Google Drive is another one that I add. 
as well as um, YouTube. So I can, sh and Dropbox actually, so I can share these, get a link and send it to someone. I, I personally, I do most of my um, outsourcing through a screencast. I will do a video and I will share it and uh, I'll just show you how that, how that works now. Um, so now that we've added that, we can go right to screencast and I've shared this. So let's say this was a video that says, hey, you know, I want you to, to, to move this header over here and you know, change this graphic and add this and whatever. You'll see this popped up. There's a link ready to be pasted. And you can just go to the browser now and click on the link. And it's already in the clipboard, right? So that's a nice thing. So I can just send that right to someone if I'm giving them instructions uh, through uh, Gmail or through my um, you know task manager or whatever the case may be. And if this were a an image, they would be able to click it and play it and um, and all that stuff. Actually, let's do a little image here. Uh, we, we recorded this little uh, GIF, I guess, or or uh, or video. Put it to screencast, and you'll see the progress bar here. It's just uploading. So what I do is I record something, click upload. As I'm typing out the instructions on what I want them to do, or saying, "Hey, you know, here's here's what I want you to do." You know, video attached. It's uploading, and by the time that that I'm done uh, doing that, then it's ready to uh, to share. Okay, and. And it will say, hey, yeah, your link's ready to be pasted. We got a new link here. Boom. And then they can click play and see the video. So Snag 19 to me is just an incredible tool. Uh, it's extremely reliable. Um, your videos are going to come out great. You can do the kind of picture in picture uh, like we've got going on right now. And you can manipulate images in so many ways. You can grab text. It's going to save you tons of time. So, um, you know, it definitely... Uh, this is one of my favorite, this is one of the programs that I install, you know, if I reformat my computer or something, I'm installing Snagit 2019 right away. That's, that's one of the ones that I do first. So anyhow, I hope this video was helpful. And, um, you know, if you have any questions, shoot them out in the comments. Uh, let me know what, what you like best about Snagit or, you know, what screen captures you use. And we'll see you on the next video. All right. Thanks, guys.